Hey, welcome to the Morning Mix After Show. We had a story we couldn't get to today, and I think, I don't know about Whip and I, but I wanted to check with Nikki on this one. Okay, so a new survey was done that said one in 10 sports fanatics will never date a person that roots for a different team. <laughs> and I know that Joel and you both went to Michigan State, but yeah. you guys are so dedicated to it. Like, yeah. If Joel, like, did you ever date somebody from Michigan and you're like, get the hell out of here, I can't no, do it? No, but it's hard. So my brother, well, first off, let's backtrack. I have twin identical younger brothers. One of okay. them's name's Nick and your name's yeah. Nikki. And he We're went to state. We're still trying to figure that he out. He went to state. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. We, I got to ask my dad about that. But uh, so one went to state and one went to U of M. So right there you have identical oh, twins who funny. are already at But odds. they can't date each other. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! And then um, the Brad, Brad, the U of M guy, ended up marrying um, his high school sweetheart, who went to Michigan State. Oh wow! So wow. it's it's a so yes. They're the exception. They're the one out of ten. They are, and uh, it is funny though because Benign, they have both outfits for both kids. You know, like sometimes she'll be the daughter will be in a U of M cheerleading outfit, sometimes it's an MSU cheerleading That's outfit. Funny. So yeah, you accidentally called Brad Brat. Was that a Freudian like uh, <laughs> Brad? No, I know, but you were like Brad. I mean Brad. Is he a brat? No. <laughs> Did you ever use that? What, Brad? Brad the Brad. Oh, I'm sure. Right. Hey, Brad. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. But he helped me with my picks, so I got to be nice no, to him. No, you got to be nice to him, man. Now, my wife, Amy, is not really a sports person yeah. at all. We're both Cubs fans, but for her, it's more like, ooh, Justin Terrio is really hot. I'm a Cubs fan, like back in the day. You know what I mean? Um, Whip, with yeah. Stacy, your wife, was it ever a thing? Yeah. She was like a Cubs fan by default, and I also like the Sox, and so she has not really, I mean, it's not really like an argument fight type yeah, thing. Right. Um, you know, I don't think it would get to that point, and, uh, yeah, yeah, but I could see how sports fans, even though it seems silly and trivial, when you're in the heat of it, it's not silly and trivial. Right. Even though, like, rationally speaking, ah, oh, Bears, whatever. Bears, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. But then, like, if it comes down to they're in the NFC Championship game and one of you is rooting for one and one's the other, that right. would be a huge fight. Well, it's like that couple who are the, the, the Marley, the the Republican and the Democrat who yeah. are married. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking right. about? They, they both, like, oh, James Carville yeah. and yes. uh, Mary Madeline. Yes. Yeah. 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 And oh, I'm like, happened to them? they both what? walked down different sides of the aisle. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. And I think they're still together. They probably are. And well, they, like, they made a great, great career out of that bit, too. Th- about that, that yeah. being that, yeah. But yeah, at yeah, the yeah, end yeah. of the day, yeah. there has to be times where right. you're like, I got to walk away because yeah. it yeah. is making me so mad. Totally. And I don't, I would have that problem if someone rooted for you about yeah. Okay, so here's what's funny. So Big Karwowski, he has three kids. His son, Alex, is a Green Bay Packers fan. Okay. And Dave believes, Big Karwowski believes, it's just because it would annoy Big Karwowski because he's a Bears fan. He's like, yeah, he's just yeah. a. So what if Julian went to Michigan? Oh, like we, you'd be proud yeah. that he was in a great school or no, a school. Sorry, <laughs> we've are, we've we've discussed this as a family, yeah. uh, and uh, we would a have the the flag. There's a flag called a house divided, so okay, it's got a so state and a yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. bowl. And I would 100 percent wear state stuff at drop off. Yeah, and- <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I mean, if we went to the MSU U of M game. Yeah. I'm wearing my state stuff. I, I, I support yeah, him. Yeah. I'd be paying for his school. I'd be helping him, but I'm not going to put on that. Right? No, they're going to so, get your money. And I fine. wonder. There are like at the uh, crosstown classic games. Sometimes you do see some jerseys where it's like half socks. Yeah, half Cubs. Half Cubs yeah. or people maybe with like families. You know, they might wear those. I wonder if that exists at all at the college level. Like, I feel like the rivalry is more at the college level where there would never oh, sure. be a right. Michigan, half Michigan, half Michigan State jersey, even as a joke. Right? I would love to see one, though, that's like Illinois State and Oregon. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, this makes no sense. Right. I'm sure you can get them on Etsy for anything, uh, well, that's right? That's probably true. Just I make bet. one, yeah. Oh, true. my goodness. All right, uh, well, we hope that you're not in a house divided. I'm already fired up just talking about I, I know, I can it. see it. Yeah, gee whiz. <laughs> All right, enjoy the rest of your day. Listen to the Morning Mix weekdays from 5.30 to 10 on 101.9 The Mix in Chicago or with our free Mix app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. We'll see you tomorrow on The Mix.